Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Walter Schumann and today I'm going to do some hints and tips about Legend or Legende by Henry Vianyaski, which is new legend. It's a piece that he wrote and it's edited by Henry Schradek. Henry Schradek is one of the you know top violinist and uh, pedagogues at the time, in the past of course. And here it is, hmm, a piece that uh, seemingly looks to be very easy, but at the same time, um, the reality, the truth is that it's uh, pretty much um, filled up with lots of technical challenges, double stops, um, and lots of uh, good quality of sound. It's a requirement to make possible to um, go through every single detail of this music. Uh, so I'm going to just do practice. This is not a concert uh, a performance. This is practicing. And what I do to overcome challenges and difficult moments while I'm uh, trying to learn a new piece as I would like to perform this for um, Thanksgiving. So it's Adante, which is mean moderately um, slow. So not fast, but not too dragging down. Um, so it's the you know, the overtone should be, the harmonic should be very clear. It's uh, uh, simple to move your hand right away, you know. This transitioning with the bow is pretty hard to, uh, hello, to sustain. Uh, nice to meet you. So it's a very hard. And that's what is the hardest part, the transitioning of the bow. No. It should be like a sound, hello, um, it should be like a sound that requires very smooth hand when you change to the other string. And don't stretch too much of your finger, uh, especially the fourth one. Almost that's what it should be heard. pretty challenging moment as there are lots of repetitive moments. Thank you, thank you, thank you that you like my uh, practice, this practice. And so I'm trying to learn this piece for Thanksgiving 
and hope to <laughs> make it uh, work <laughs> so fast <laughs> and soon as possible. But the quality time spent on working over your sound is practically 80%. Your, uh, your work is done. So everything is about the sound here. Here, in this particular moment, we see... It's a three accents, you know. They are not an accents that are, should be hit by force of the bow, you know. Uh, no, it's an accent tenuto. That it's more expressed because the composer says uh, multi expressivo. So. Those are melodic octaves and what makes it hard what makes it hard is uh, when you change uh, the string because you are going in D and G and then you have a double octave trills which is pretty rare even our days the repertoire does not include the double stop trills like here Once in a sudden, you see, that's um, that's very, 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 very rare because you have to shift your third finger, your third, you, it's going to be too difficult if you go from you can do that, you can just hop onto the third position and do it more easy uh, for yourself. The second time, the projection, so when we had the first time, the me, main team, so we went, as the composer Henry Wieniawski requested, we have to go to a string A. So, but this second time, he requested us to stay on, on string D. one of the most 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 rarest moment to where the melody the melody goes underneath so the top melody goes underneath the lower tone which is practically this is the difficult uh, moment, uh, at least I experience difficulties when you need to lower the level of your hand 
because if it's too high and you're trying to go this way, you definitely will touch with your pinky this string. Uh, you can even see. You see? You can touch, but if you lower your hands so they become, instead of uh, rounded up on the opposite side, but rounded up down, you uh, are having a better possibility not to touch the D string. Is it working? It does work. I mean, uh, it took me quite challenging <laughs> time to figure that out, but it, it obviously works. And here is this middle part of this Allegretto, Allegro Moderato, Allegretto Moderato, uh, which um, it's in major. So the first um, part is in minor, G minor, and the second is in uh, major. And the double stops, those are the melodic double stops, which are not very pleasant. have decided has decided to give us a little bit hard time as usual <laughs> nothing new under the sun so it's very important to what fingering uh, people will use some people go down all the way um, and use the opposite not risk to cross strings and positions too much and to the, so often I would go all the way through as the closest possible distance So he deliberately put it on the top. Some people will just go on the he uh, from here. Um they will change the position, but I strongly not suggest that either. Um, as I mentioned, the lowering your fingers in this situation is crucial. It doesn't mean that should be always lowered. No. In a certain moments, in a specific moments like that one, uh, we should have to do some readjustments, right? Interval 
is difficult. I actually found for myself it was pretty challenging the first few times when I played. Uh, I got the wrong tone instead of doing uh, E flat. I was doing E flat, but the C sharp. I was doing it as a C natural. And why? Because it's uh, very normal for the hand to go to the C natural, right? Uh, but no, not what, <laughs> not not that. Uh, so. I see chord that is all true open strings you don't touch anything it's just like you see it's so beautiful interesting chord um, <clears throat> so he is asking non legato for the appassionato when we go this uh, uh, tens and fifteens you know chord in G minor From here it's legato, presto. And some people will say, oh, this must be E natural, but it's actually the real chord is written as B flat, G, and E flat. There is a big general pause, you know, and then the composer requires a moderato maestoso. All in G string. And this, the last part, uh, the composer requires us to use a muter. Thank you. I, I'm very appreciate that you like what I do. Uh, so I'm going to put the muter for the last, and you will see the beauty of. Um, thank you for the great support. Uh, and here is the last part, which is so beautiful. Most of the part is on string D, with several exceptions. So, there we go.
it's just um, it's so beautiful. Like it's so sweet. It's so cute. I like makes your <laughs> while I'm playing it. It's, it makes your heart jump and pump and like uh, you got goosebumps. <laughs> Especially this little uh, like um, uh, at the very end because it's everything is morendo morendo. It's mean close to literally. Uh, sound dying sound like completely disappearing sound and then we have three pianissimos like three piano sounds like together piano pianissimo and then poco animato like a wind so like <laughs> So, um, that's actually um, a piece that I love and I just look so much forward to perform this uh, Thanksgiving and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for um, joining me today and my practice and sharing thoughts on The Legend by Henry Wieniawski. I wish all of you uh, wonderful rest of the day or uh, if you are in the morning a wonderful day ahead of you and uh, yeah hope to see you soon bye now <laughs>